Okay. <laughs> Not a close set, and it was most, one of the most embarrassing moments <laughs> in my career. <laughs> I loved every minute of it, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, 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 I gain weight, so I, I, you feel like weird because I, um, I kind of felt I would, you know, you. Pregnant, uh, Yeah, bloated. <laughs> and wearing this tiny, small yellow speedo, it was even worse. And then they said, well, now you get, get, out, get out of your robe. I was wearing a robe. So I felt so embarrassed because there was a lot of uh, extras, beautiful women all around. And then there, w there was Raquel Welch and they say, Raquel Welch is in the set. It was the first day I met her. I always had a crush on her since I was a kid. And, uh, and, they, and I was like, I want to meet her, but I'm not going to meet her. In the no, there's no time. You got to go into the set. <laughs> so I went into the set. <laughs> Take out my robe. I, I was wearing just a speedo with this big belly, and Raquel was in the other side of the pool, and I was really embarrassed. Like, oh my God, is Raquel when she's watching me like <laughs> this? I felt like was naked. <laughs> it was really. You were, honey. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. My first dream was that I, I wanted to be a, a dramatic actor. I wanted to be a. My, my mom. My mom was like the the queen of the soap operas in Mexico, and um, and the early 60s, 70s, and then, uh, so I wanted to be a dramatic, act, dramatic actor, so, uh, but I, nothing happened with my career, and then I became a, a, a comedian, I discovered that I was a funny guy, and my career started, started succeeding after I tried comedy, so at the beginning I, I really wanted to make people cry, and then I discovered that I was much better making them laugh, so, well, I'm just uh, really sad about uh, what's going on, and uh, because uh, our people, uh, the, the, the all the immigrants that come here, and, and, and I'm talking about not just the Mexicans, but all the Latin Americans, they're here because they really need to survive. They're not here because they're, they they want to steal anyone else's jobs. They're just trying to survive, and right now. Uh, a lot of countries in Latin America, they're not in very good shape. So they're like running away from, uh, for, to have a, a better life, or running away to save their lives also. There are some parts of the countries in, in, in Mexico that where they are, um, the drug lords, the narcos are like uh, threatening their lives. So they are trying to survive. And right now, uh, they finally made it. They survived the crossing of the desert, and they made a, 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 a family here, and now they're being turned apart just because of this. So it's, it breaks my heart a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it's not fair. I understand that it's, uh, I don't want to go too deep, but, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, I, it breaks my heart. Yeah, um, I love it. Yes, um, I... I trying to see one of the many things I'd like to say. Um, most of these uh, illegal workers are uh, very, very skilled mm -hmm. at working uh, as, as farmers. They're very, very, very skilled farmers. And they do not want to be farming drugs. Actually, most of the people that come here are people that do not want to have anything to do with the drugs. And right now, it's, it's the easy way is to offer their skills for that, but they don't want to do that. So a lot of them came here because there's a lot of work for the farmers here. And there's not a lot of skill for this work. And there's a magic thing to it too. Besides that you actually do have to have a skill for it. And you have to be so strong because it's one of the hardest labors. It doesn't seem like it but the position, the bag, the, it is something really, really hard to do, to endure. They have the endurance, they have the skill, and then they have something magical that is called green thumb. Mm -hmm. If you don't have the right energy with your hands, and this is, everybody knows this, you kill the plants. Mm -hmm. We by nature, there's so many gardeners, we work with the plants a lot, there's so many medicines that we discover with the Rolaria, because we are good with the plants. So these people have the skill, and American needs people with this skill. The problem with immigration needs to be resolved. There are many ways to resolve it. They, they would be very happy if they could just come 
like there was a time where they were doing it with a permit is the time where they, they can do that work and go back to Mexico. Mm -hmm. They don't want to stay here. These specific workers are really good for the economy of America. And there's not that many people that want to do it, especially not at that price. Um, and if they could work legally, then they would pay the taxes that benefits America. There needs to be an immigration reform. It is really horrible that we're not spending the time actually working out a, a good, well-planned, well-thought-out immigration reform, and we're spending the resources on trying to build a wall that is a waste of time and money. Number one, it's billions of dollars. Billions and billions and billions of dollars. Number two, it's the most absurd thing because what are you going to do when you hit the river? You're going to go up the mountain, through the river where there's going to be dams to? How do you build the wall through the many rivers that, that, that cross the border? And then it doesn't matter. Some people will still get in. Because there is a wall and some people don't even want to walk around where there is no... They go above the wall, they pass the drop <laughs> underneath the wall. The, so the amount of time and effort and money that is put into a plan, that it's not only that it's a wall, for all the, it's terrible psychologically, no. It's dumb. Yeah, it's not going to work. It's dumb. Yeah when we really actually do need a smart plan. Anyway, Thank we can talk about much. this. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much. much. I want to give you the opportunity mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. for obvious reasons. Yeah. 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 But it's also crazy that nobody goes through the practicalities and say, well, wait a minute, mm -hmm. has anybody thought that out? Mm -hmm. I mean, somebody just said, I'm going to build a wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And guess what? What? Who's going to build it? The <laughs> next. <laughs> 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 the next. 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 The The next. 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 This is good for this economy. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. contribute. The one million dollars is a lot of money, it's a lot of money yeah. that I had a part in. So it, it's, it's um, in the film industry, it's one of the, mo the strongest industries of America, economically. Yeah. Uh, except for last Oscar, the last three Oscars before this one, were won by Mexican, mm -hmm. Mexican uh, mm -hmm. directors. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. Lubezki also mm -hmm. three. I yeah. know, uh, uh -huh. and the, the cinematographer, and so we do contribute a lot of contributions to the country in many mm -hmm. fields. Mm -hmm. It's not just screening. Mm -hmm. And I've never ranked anyone. <laughs> 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 that's good.